Welcome to a new project on the Cabana that probably will be abandoned in the next three months. Hopefully not, because I'm here. <laughs> yes, Kirby, also known as Ryan, hypernucleus or whatever. I don't even know what to go by any anymore. Who knows? All I know is that I'm no longer the the weeb of a freaking ninja with a raincoat. What did you record this uh, record this game on? Uh, I at the game the computer actually came with its own capture device software. Oh hell yeah, that's awesome. So I'm running with it, and it gets me 720 videos. So all that's I remember, good. all I remember <laughs> is the old games. It loaded like crazy, it's crazy slow. Yeah, especially the ones for like the consoles, like the 360 and stuff. Oh man, don't even go there. Oh god, Fallout 3 Swamp DLC. That was a nightmare lo load, especially when you start to trip out. I see you're getting all your DLC items just dumped on you. Yep. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Anyways, meet Billy Bob Tron. Billy Bob Tron. What's that in reference to? I don't know, but I, for some reason I was thinking of Mega Man Legends, and I was thinking the Tron bonds are the Tron family is really kick ass. You know what, Bob Tron? Well, I mean, this game is kind of like a mixture between Old West and uh, and like a uh, New Age stuff technology. All right, speaking of which, this build is going to be an intelligence luck build. It's going to be a me it's going to be focusing mainly on energy weapons, science, and me yeah, medicine, science, repair, and speech because speech is very powerful in Fallout games. The repair skill is uh, is really good in this game too, if I remember right. Oh yeah, I have a lot of fun with this build, especially with the DLC um, perks you can get and all that. I once made a Centaurian that was like ro like um futuristic so he had like the plasma war axe and all that and he had like the silver legget armor i called myself the solar centaurian because i got perks that allowed me to draw power from the sun oh right. i was invincible oh my god that sounded great. i could take on death claws barehanded <laughs> death claws will always be a pain in whatever fallout game they're in mm-hmm I do like how in the newer games they do kind of end up becoming a bit of a, of a boss fight, almost. Almost, yeah. But there's a lot of Fallout 4 I don't like. My biggest grief. Yeah, I mean, my, obviously not. My biggest grief was the outright butcheration, castration of the leveling system. You can level up as many times as you want. Oh, go, go, Todd Howard! You're so great. Yes, but instead of being able to pool all those points into perks and skills you want, you have to put one star into one part of your poster. Yeah. But again, you know, you can level up as many times as you want, so you... So oh, you, that's you, not the problem. The you problem is get there. that the leveling system is still kind of crapo. But then again, at least it's not like Fallout 3 leveling, where you can just like, be busted at level 4. And all you have to do is make sure your intelligence is level 10. Because when every time you level up, you get bonus points to add. And if your max intelligence is 10, you get 20 points a level up. Yeah, Fallout 3's leveling system was pretty broken. But at least it's not Fallout 76's. I don't play 76 because I've heard nothing but nightmare. Oh, I played it a whole game. I did a whole thing. I also heard there's people who join up in groups as raiders, but instead of raiding players, all they right. drop loot and all that because the game's bullshit takes them away. I want you oh, I never encountered that. Oh, the uh, inkblot stuff. House. Oh, not yet. No, not yet. Uh, like I said, this is a science build, so I'm basically trying to choose stuff that will bu buff yeah. our, our science necessary Light. skills. Mother. Oh, yeah. Except at the very end when it's like, oh, you can choose whatever you want. And it's like, okay, well, what's the point of what I just did? I'm sure there's some hidden RNG calculator that determines what points are what, but I, I am no, I'm no computer expert. Or a speedrunner. Oh, no. Which I was going to say, once you leave this house, you can grab your... Uh, Revolver and start flying bridge. across the world, <laughs> <laughs> like like a crazy person. I know, right? 
Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? I have no idea what any of these are. Last one. I always choose a bear, two bears high fiving. Well, exactly. Except for that one. The one looks like two ninjas high fiving or something. Uh, yeah, this is also going to be an interesting run. I'm just going to get this out of the way. This is actually going to be the continuation of the doctor of the Mr. House run. Because honestly, I wasn't having fun with the original Beatrice run because I fucked up. You're gonna have to re remind me. When did that happen? A while ago. Oh my god, my memory is so bad. We stopped that big mountain, but we're gonna do things right because I felt like I rushed through that first time. Just a formality. Ain't like I expected. We're gonna do the DLC stuff much later, like close to endgame. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was a big fan oh, of this game. Oh, and by the way, take good natured, skilled. Uh -huh. You just instantly upgraded all of your non-violent right. skills by 10, and your non-violent, your violent skills didn't get touched. Here, these are yours. The only downside is that you get plus, you get 10% penalty to bonus to experience, but once you take the first swift winner, it goes back to zero, so it doesn't matter. Gotcha. Well, if you're heading back, did you do uh, wild the wild wasteland perk? They call it a pip boy. Uh, no, because I had to grab, I grabbed the uh, skilled and the good nature. Oh. I know, there's a lot of stuff about the Wild Wasteland, but the sad thing is, if I was going to do it, I wanted to get all of the things, but I'm not that good, and hunting them on YouTube videos and reacting to, and having them recorded would just take too long. You could enable it in the console command, I'm pretty sure. Can I? I am fairly certain you can just go on a console command and activate the Wild Wasteland. I'll have to take a look the next time I open up. In the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. Like, oh, I forgot how slow these people talk. I, I, wait, I recognize Doc Mitchell's anyway, voice. He's, uh, look at Rainius from... Come right back. Lanius from, uh, you up. or whatever. No, not Lanius. Not uh, killed anymore. Oh, what is it with Bethesda and frickin' Romans? I expect you'll be wanting to go outside. Uh, uh, the leader from the Imperials in Skyrim. I'll answer what I can. General Tullius, that's his name. Oh, um, Jesus I mean, Christ, Bethesda. Of course. I mean, Bethesda only has like five people on their voice acting staff at all times, so. That's true. Right if the pain flares up. Yuri Lowenthal, Jim Cummings, Laura Bailey. <laughs> it's all the same people. <laughs> this guy and uh, the guy who's Fenris from Dragon Age 2. I didn't see. Did you do a uh, hardcore mode? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Yeah, it, it. I've looked into hardcore mode. It's. It just seems like unnecessary. Uh, having to deal with I've the water. I've played. I did a. Uh, I did a uh, no death run for a uh, hardcore mode. It, it didn't go well. I mean, that's basically all that follow seventy six. Uh, that'll uh, follow seventy six is. <laughs> it's just one Fallout big hardcore mode. The mod of Fallout seventy six. <laughs> it's it's just one big hardcore mode because you always have to make sure that you have food and water at all times. Well, no, that's. It's different in that one because that one it's that one it's supposed to happen. This one it's like, do you wanna do you want to walk on Legos Howdy, while you Barbara. play this game? Yeah, I know. I say you're looking fit as a oh boy, it's Victor. Don't ranch it. We all know Victor, our friend. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the Oh, and in case nobody's played a new Vegas game, allow me to explain the story I skipped. Two factions are at war, the NCR and the Legion. They hate each other badly. And you as a courier was going to deliver a chip, but Mr. Rogers shot you in the face and took it from you. Now you got to go kill him and get it back. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the story. But then the plot thickens. I can't quite seem to recall. The opening cutscene is pretty good. Oh, having just staring down a barrel of a gun. It's a, right piece from it's a good yeah, opening. Yeah, but then copyright is a thing, and I don't want, really want to get in trouble. Oh, yeah, ain't that a kick in the DMCA? As everyone said. I don't think that's the name of the DLC. And I got the I got all the DLC. Oh yeah, the DLC is great in this game. I'm I'm looking forward oh, to that. Yeah. 
Oh no, you know what I just remembered? What's up? I recorded two of the DLC. Oh my god. I've just unlocked <laughs> so I've just unlocked some memories that I have this I have this on my channel. Oh my god. You know what, oh, you know, you know no. what decided to bring this fallout back? Well, yeah, we what? Me, I remember the Oh no. <laughs> that's 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 a low blow. I can't believe you would do this to me. <laughs> oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. You have brought up my oldest wound. <laughs> Raspberry. That's right. I was telling my thoughts about the DLC and I did that. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> if you don't do that in this playthrough, where you go to that a roller coaster <laughs> and jump off of it. I don't I just don't know what we're gonna do. We have to do it. it when it now. comes to my science build, the only really good thing the DLC gives me is the grenade launcher and a bunch of shit to sell. For extremely a lot of caps. Like, I just sold a shotgun for like 459. Yeah, wasn't there a specific DLC that just gave you just a crap ton of uh, starter items? Yeah, like the. Yeah, there's like ones where you have like various like quote unquote origin stories, like the tribal wear and stuff. Mm hmm. And then there's the Gunrunner Arsenal DLC, which gun is super that's... guns. And doesn't that spawn like a Gunrunner uh, store somewhere in the Mojave? That was always in the game, but they Don't added more weapons. Gotcha, that's what it was. They're just extremely expensive, which is why yeah, in New Vegas luck is so important. You. Because you need to get big in the casinos to make game. the money! Meet me outside, behind the saloon. You know what? Now that you say that, I do remember watching you go to the casinos with a high luck build. Yep, with like that 10 luck. That was insane. You, yeah, with like 10 luck, you rarely lose. And don't they kick you out? Yes, if you make too much money, oh. they'll kick you out. <laughs> you should have... I wish I was I gotta, recording I, the first time. I, I gotta see I, that again. <laughs> sorry, but uh, the first time I actually got kicked out of the casino was the Amuertas. And I was and I was winning and all that, and then the guy's like, "Hey, you're done here. No more gambling for you." And then I'm like, "What are you gonna do?" And I saw that he was one of the tiny models. He was up to my character's chest, looking up, and he's like, "No more gambling for you." What was this? Some sort of kid model or something? No, it's one of the models of the of the Amuerta gang, where they they have like half people, like half men. Dude, I do not remember that in the slightest. He's the guy who talks to you when you make big in the casino, and he's like, Hey, buddy, here's a room. Hey, hey, here's some free stuff. Okay, you're winning too much. Fuck off. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see that. This game I is think, so realistic. I think you win a to You get kicked out when you win a total of 100,000 or higher caps. Well, chips. It's quite a lot. Oh yeah, especially since the fact that you can take the Legit coins and the MCR dollars, convert them into chips, and then convert them into into the currency that matters, caps. Oh god, yeah, I forgot that the MCR, it's like its own random faction in this game, where they're not bad, but they're not good, and they just kind of stay out of your way, honestly. You have to have positive, you have to have positive thoughts about how America runs on militarism. Yeah, and they try to have their own, like, currency. Like, oh, we're going to bring back the dollar. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, okay, good luck with that. And then you have the then you have the Legion, who are your typical Raiders, but in football gear. Oh, right. And they speak, and... And they speak a funny link. I find it hilarious that all of, of all the things to survive the, the Fallout Army apocalypse then? was Latin. To clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell... Don't forget, the... else. Don't forget that they're sexist. Closer. If you're a female, you can't, uh... We can get the oh yeah, you can't it. enter the death arena. Yeah. That way. That's okay. I usually kill them. Also, fun fact about Fallout 4, according to that, the MCR ending is the canon ending in this game. Which one was that? Were, were, were like, they take over New Vegas? Yeah. Okay. Because in Fallout 4, when you kill the mercenary who kills either your wife or husband and mm -hmm. takes your baby... Kellogg, the uh, yep. Kellogg, See? Kellogg brand cereal. I 
didn't make the connection until now! Dude, I made the connection right away. <laughs> Kellogg Brand cereal. <laughs> God damn it! Well, after Brand Flakes tried to murder us, and then we murdered him instead, you jump into his mind to figure out where your son might have gone, and you find mm. out through the radio that you hear about the NCR's victory and how they're extending their territories in New Vegas and planning to breach out later. Oh, always good when the game gives you multiple endings, but only one counts. I know, right? Which is the only one thing I like about Dragon Age as the whole series is the fact that your endings actually matter and change the story of the other games. But the problem is Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition are not that great. Especially 2. 2, I remember not liking video games. Holy like the, the video of it. If you didn't come here, no, the call the game the graphics sure. were kinda mad. The plot eh, it, was okay for, it was okay it was okay for that. a Dragon Age game, I guess. I mean it's not the first one, but But what is one of the worst offenders of that game is the fact that they reuse every map and they try to pretend that it's a new location. Oh, there are plenty of games I like well, that uh, that that do the same thing. Yeah, like in the Dragon Age Two, when you have to go investigate the haunted house. One more thing I it's just to the you. brothel. When you have to go plan. deal with Varric's brother again, yourself. it's just the brothel. Hey, levels are hard to make. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for a 360 game. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Now, the the thing with the plasma pistol, right? It's good, but it's slow. You gotta admit that. Yeah. You gotta you but... gotta, you gotta lead your sots. It's a slow sot. Yeah, but with my vats and True. stuff, and with the high luck and the chances of getting a critical hit are easy. Usually, that's ridge. not a problem. I can't get to her. That is true. Please. She's going to die. I just know sometimes I like to try and play without vats, and plasma pistols are just hard to use. Well, you see, the thing about me is that I am a coward, and after my experiences with Morrowind, I never take anything to the chance. Oh, let me guess, you just walk around hitting the V button all the time? V, 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 V. No! My strats, my pro gamer skills ruined! I can't play Fortnite anymore! Oh my god, there's an enemy five miles to the east! I think that's what happens! Oh no, I try. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Okay, I'm not that scummy. You hit a walking target. But, nice job. But sometimes I just spam fats just so I know where something is because sometimes this game likes to give you enemy cursors, but no enemies. Oh yeah, sometimes or sometimes yes. enemies will like fall through the world or whatever. Yeah, <sighs> Bethesda. Well, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game. I also find it hilarious that the accuracy is much different when you try to aim and when you shoot at the hip because apparently I have more accuracy at hip level. I just miss bats. Oh my god, look at all these geckos. I forgot how much they just throw at you at the beginning here. Oh yeah, they also give you, the GRA thing also gives you, like, super bullets. Oh man, I forgot about that. This game has, like, different bullet types you can use. Mm hmm So you can actually beat this game with the starting varmint rifle if you want, because there is armor-piercing bullets you can get for that. Yeah, I think that was a cool aspect of the game. It's just you always forget what kind of ammo you have. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't really display their resistances too well, at least in my taste. Or in like when I'm usually when I'm in it, I'm like, ah, I wish I knew what you were weak to. <laughs> exactly. And just like that, we got rid of the weakness to skilled. We're oh, back nice. to normal leveling. <laughs> Bethesda does not believe in nudity. Therefore, I can loot all the clothes I want and not get in trouble. Ha ha ha. 
unlike in Cyberpunk. <laughs> oh no, I've seen <laughs> I've seen my brother play Cyberpunk. We like it despite all of the glitches and stuff. Sorry, I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the gecko. Sorry, I tricked you as he runs up slowly to you. <laughs> After, I <deal> After I deal with you. <laughs> oh yeah, ah! <laughs> and his voice immediately changed to Yuri Lowenthal. Oh man, fastest gun in the West that guy was. I see it took five seconds to try to pull out his gun. <laughs> so apparently the plasma gun is just basically a mini sun, so I'm shooting them with the sun. Praise it. Oh, I think you'll be able to see people with the sun much later in the game. Yes, <laughs> that depends if I actually go that route, which you I just, might. <laughs> you just unlocked another one of my memories of the coolest weapon in the game. <laughs> oh, ju you know what? Just for this run, I'm going to get it. You, you got you to gotta go to the place to get that weapon. It's mm. pretty cool. But first, we got to get the first piece. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot there's like a... What's that, like a whole quest revolving around getting that weapon? Yeah, actually. Also, mm. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm also gonna try to cut out as many as the uh, fast travel stuff I try to do here from here on out. Probably a good idea. Usually, just to save up on time, I just fast travel if the location is a little too far for my taste. Because I would know for. A f I definitely know for a fact that nothing will happen. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What the hell is your problem? Well, you oh, how many runs did I do with this game? I think I did a run where I practically did every ending except for a house ending. I never did the house ending, and I don't know why. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago. Isn't this a quest where you do a little, where you like defend the town from a suit out of the gang? Yeah, or you can help the gang take it over. We figured he was just in shock. I like this quest. I think it's a it's a very western quest. Like. Finding out, really, the, finding out the gang, trying to take over the town. The the what I also like about uh, the idea of New Vegas Some is that every like town has their own the view of you, help, like their own happen. fame of whether Personally, you're good or bad in their neighborhood. The right, yeah, there's a lot of uh, factions in the game that you gotta kind of... Uh, even some of the towns, like if, like I think, in, like Novak, if you don't get like the best with them or something, you can't get the true ending. To Novak. Right, right. As you, you gotta like grow your reputation with each one, which I think is pretty cool, because like helping one one people makes it so that another group of people don't like you. Sounded like they came in from the north. Yeah, like if that's the case, I can't. Yeah, and most and and like uh. Oh, I forget the name of the DLC, but the, the one with Ulysses. With the kind of that just uh, how, you did, how you handled the Mercury last Lone, part determines how much relationship you get anyway. Lonesome Road? Could be for all yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, I know that DLC very, very well. So do I. I, I keep dying exactly. in the Deathclaw pit. The was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get so why do you think I, I just hoard a shit ton of plasma grenades? Highway 93 up. Oh, you mean this is the strongest grenades in the game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are the whole. That, that is the holy hand grenade of Antioch, and I am going to use it on that damn rabbit. Oh my god! There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. Also, I find that Vegas seems like we're talking about spoiler stuff, but you know what? This the, our love for this game. Who cares? Dude, I was obsessed with this game for such a long time when I first got it. It was great. Even when this game used to crap out on the 360, I would always instantly reload it. Just so I could continue yeah, where I left off. Right back yeah. Off. You got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Have you ever gotten Here's the silver pip boy caps. or that whatever it's called, enough. the pip boy, like ten thousand, yeah. I believe? Uh, you mean the pimp boy? Absolutely. Yes, I did. Ah, yeah. You can even yeah, see it, in, I think, in my videos. In fact, run. I even remember people asking me, "Well, oh, how did you get the pimp boy?" I'm like, I don't remember. I just do everything in the game. Also, as an attempt from the original Fallout, we're also going to try to do the Sunset Sesperla Cap Quest. Because I've never done it. And I don't know what you get when you get all the caps needed. So you... I don't want that spoiled. Okay. I do not. Gotcha. I've waited years for this. The Bottle Cap Quest is pretty fun. 
it's it's a really good one because it kind of revolves around a whole uh like mystery with the with the wasteland you know what i also like about fallout games in general over some some like fantasy games and stuff because unlike most rpgs in this you're just a schmo you're not like the chosen one or anything you're just a guy who who had a bit of bad luck Especially in this game, because, you know, the thing about Fallout games is you always start in a vault. Mm -hmm. Because this game was developed by Obsidian. They're like, yeah, you know, we're going to make you a courier. Close enough. Here's Who another fun fact. What do you want with me? I'm actually good at Caravan. Sorry about the gun. Oh, you just oh no. Guard, that's all. <laughs> oh, no. Start. Don't worry. Don't worry. I only show it once. <laughs> it's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You the whole pie. Even though he says pot in the ti in the, the subtitles, you bastard. <laughs> Sasuke! Well, there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house in. Yeah, it is slow paced. This yeah. There's no more specifics about the rules. Here's a tip. Uh, here's a mat tip for so caravan. Pick Just pick spares. two suits. Play so, within those two suits. You feel like playing a game? Is this guy explaining the rules while pointing a gun at you? Don't worry. <laughs> yes. Hey, do you want to play a, play, play a card game? You want to play Dungeon Dice Monsters? No one plays that game. <laughs> oh boy, I spent the entirety of The Witcher 3 doing my best to avoid all instances of Gwent. Because I just don't like hard games. Oddly enough, when I play RPGs, I really love some of the mini games they add in there. Like in the first, I'm gonna butcher the name, but uh, speak it in. But uh, I really like to play the dice game. Well, the dice game is fine. It's card games I have a problem with because card games go on way too long. Final Fantasy like. VIII can officially suck a fart. I've never <laughs> played that. I've, sucks. I've never played that game, but I know about <laughs> uh, what was it? Trip, uh, triple, triple triad. I think that's what it was called. <laughs> Plus the theme song was bad. Where are you getting this money from? Where is this money coming from on the left? Who has this money? I thought y'all used bottle I caps. Bo I have the bottle caps. He's a he's a courier, so he works for the NCR, so he ha he's the one with the NCR dollars. Ah, and I see way too many Jeffersons at my work. And not enough Hamiltons. <laughs> not enough Speaking Hamiltons being given to you. <laughs> Speaking of which, I saw that on Disney Plus. It's one of my favorite musicals. I've heard good things about it. I've not I uh it. I've not seen it. You should. It's a good watch. So what is the point of this game? Basically, you have to get your your uh, numbers between 21 and I believe 26. Whoever has the highest number caravan without going over wins. But as you can see, you have face cards like your kings and queens and all that that can fuck your opponents over or help you. The king can double any card that it's on. The jack takes away one card it lands on. The queen changes the path depending upon her face. Like, since I have the Queen of Hearts, I can play a heart card in the diamond section. Does your luck so, stat affect anything in this game? I honestly don't know. I've never... I don't think so. I think luck only has to deal with combat and gambling. Gotcha. But yeah, Yuri yeah, Lowenthal wasn't lying. That Like, this takes forever. I, I know that's that that's not a problem with card games. They just take a long time. Yeah, I, like I don't I said, have I don't have a problem. This once. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't have a problem with other type of mini games. But card games, dude. I have literally paid to not do card games in a video game. 